All right, let's talk about my first model right now. And yes, this is one of, this is my first model. Uh, it's built and painted, it's right over there. And to be honest, this is kind of what got me into the hobby and I'm loving every second of it. It's the XV88 Broadside Battle Suit. So I order all my minis off of Amazon. Uh, faster shipping, cheaper prices, surprisingly. Um, and I ordered this and another kit. Uh, and this is what came in first. But for my first paint job, I love it to death. I mean, did I get some acrylic gold paint? Where is that? This stuff right here, that doesn't stick to plastic. Yeah, did, does that mean I had to glob it on the paintbrush and paint it down? Yeah, I did just order some of that Volo's paint. The stuff that everyone recommends and says is the best. I got some of that. Some of my paints should be better. <laughs> I've been using the um, Army Painter War Paints. Uh, I've done that and have used that for this model, the two drones that come with it, and some other models back there. And, I don't know, it seems to be working with me. But let's go ahead and focus on the main miniature right here, which, I mean, I'm absolutely in love with. I really, I went with the ion cannon uh, versus the two missile pods. I don't know if that's better like um, in the game I would be surprised though because this has a I think it was a 40 it was either 60 or 48 inch range which is insane it can hit nearly anywhere uh, and then I went with a seeker missile probably not the best thing probably should have went with more of a spotter um, and also went with the missile pod right here uh, I used I used white primer um, I just ran out, so I don't know what it's called. It's kind of generic um, white primer you get from a hardware store or from Walmart or something. So, you know, quite a nice little model we have. Missile pods. Uh, there is some, I mean, I, of course, I tried to spend time on this. I, you know, dry brushed the black part of the gun metal. Uh, I tried getting the blue in there right now. And I, I tried to follow the box because I just really like the look of this model right here that they have displayed on the box. The two drones I made with it are the little missile drone and the gun drone. I need to go back and repaint this. As you, um, this was originally white, but then I painted them um, gray. Uh, before I realized on where did I find it? Oh, I looked on the data sheet. Um, basically, I looked at the codex on my phone through that Warhammer app, uh, and their guns are white. So I'm gonna have to go back and repaint these. And I did get the uh, like forty dollar Volos um, kind of paint set, the like starter paint set. So that has to have gold in it. So I will be painting these little spheres gold when that comes in because I do not want to deal with that stupid where is it? This stuff. I would throw it if it wasn't going to get everywhere. It would probably, knowing my luck, I'd like throw it and it just bust and I don't want to be cleaning up gold paint for the next century so I'm not going to do that. I'll wait to paint them. I'll wait to paint the rest of it. But, yeah. Uh, would have been smarter to go with some, you know, shield drones or a seeker drone like I said um, probably but hey I just got eight more drones so it's it I could have as many and missile drones are apparently I think it might be only with the broadside battle suit or maybe it's with the um, other uh, okay there's another one um, the commander the Tau Commander, it's not Commander Farsight or the Flying Commander, don't remember that guy's name. But it's the white one, kind of tall model, same price as this guy. 
Um, the broadside telescope? I don't know if he comes with um, these missile, missile drones. The ones that have little missile pods on them. Because apparently those are kind of rare. So I'm thinking, actually I already set up all the drones. Never mind. Uh, I was thinking, I was about to say, I can take the missiles off of the runners that came with this and put them with the other drones, but those just finished gluing. Oh yeah, I use super glue on my models. I know that's kind of like, apparently, it's kind of not good because super glue is kind of more fragile than plastic cement, but I don't live near a hobby shop. I do live near a Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells a lot of super glue for a dollar. And yes, it has got all in my hands, and now my hands are completely torn to shreds because of this. Yes, do I also try to take off the super glue with an X-Acto knife? Also, yes. So, I mean, it's kind of a, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to cut down on the cost. Not too much, apparent. Not too much, apparently, because a $40 model and then a $90 set are the two first things I got in this hobby. Didn't even tr I tried it out with these little, no, that guy's not painted. With these little goblin guys. They're like a knockoff ones off of Amazon. Like $30 and it came with a bunch of them. I don't know. But they are, that's what I tried it out with. Loved it. Went ahead and got uh, the this guy right here. Uh, I don't think my paint job's perfect, like I have that, where I was trying to paint right there. Messed up, got it on that, and got mad. I should probably cover that in gray. I don't have gray paint. If you notice, all the grays are sometimes a different color. That's because I don't have gray paint. I have to mix my white and blacks, and they're not always 100%. You'll definitely see them with these guys right here. Like, spoiler. But this gray and this gray and that gray and the gray under there are all different colors of gray they're all different shades that might change when I get the new paints in uh, in two days but I don't know actually to be honest I don't know if it came with the gray paint I just saw it had the best paint it's the best paint everyone recommended it's 40 something, 47 dollars on Amazon. So of course I went ahead and snatched that up real fast. When I, which is good. I don't know, this, this review's kind of been everywhere because, I mean, most of y'all know what the broadside battle suit looks like. Um, I can talk about why I went with the white and black paint scheme. It's the traditional towel paint scheme. I do, in fact, love this this turquoise paint scheme they have what's up with that that's that's amazing you have your tan uh, towel which I might do a couple of maybe I don't really know which I don't, can you mix barbarian flesh and like a little bit of black or like a little bit of white well barbarian flesh right now this one this barbarian flesh is kind of dark surprisingly I tried, okay, actually next review I'll talk about that, which it'll be a while because only, well, all 10 of them are painted, or 10 of them are built, but yeah, um, I did mess up while trying to dry brush um, some tan onto uh, basically, a pa uh, basically a strike team set, so yeah, I definitely... Definitely interesting. This guy had a lot less problems. He is, I think, leaning like this a little too much. But I think that's mostly his head placement. Uh, those need to get... For my fish paint job on an official Warhammer model, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have limited paint, so I had to improvise a lot. But, I mean, it's my first model. I'm not as in like love as it. Not as in love with it as I was when I first painted it. Because then I, well, mostly I painted this guy, who is not perfect, but my good lord. Hello. But you'll hear me gush more about my, these guys, uh, in another review when I finally finish the 
whole set. Uh, so like when I get primer, because two of the battle suits need to be primed. It's just, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot left to do in this set. But yeah, and I'll probably next video talk about Forge World models. Tau Forge World models, not just Forge World in general. But you know, just... just really like this model, in all honesty. Uh, for my first model, I don't think it was the best. But, I don't know. It was just great. It was a great first experience. I'm happy with this model. Um, I don't know if it's great competitively. I'm trying to build a 500 point team here, just for fun. Uh, I haven't played the game since two years ago. I think I, pl I, think I like test demoed it. But right now, I am just absolutely head over heels for this hobby. And 